Hello everybody, this is Jim Nickel. I uh, teach physics here at Robinson. For the last few years I've been teaching IB. Um, currently I teach two sections of IBHL and I teach three sections of our first year IB physics curriculum. Um, we'll start with the, the standard physics, just uh, everybody who's in HL should have taken that last year uh, during the, their junior year. So. For those who are currently have students in that class, which is periods uh, 1, 5, and 7, then just to give you an idea of what it's like, uh, it's classical physics. There's We're studying all the kind, same kinds of things they would study in the standard Fairfax County physics. Um, the reason they're going to get a bump is it's a preparation for a, taking the second year, either SL or HL. Uh, and in that case, they need to have additional abilities and skills to deal with uncertainties and graphing that they wouldn't need in the standard course. So <clears throat> uh, we do teach the first year in an attempt to make sure that they are prepared to take the second year should they wish to do so. Um, of course, if your student's a senior, then the, that doesn't matter, but they will get the additional grade level at the end for doing an IB course. Um, again, topics are you know, motion, classical start, uh, forces, Newton's laws of motion, uh, energy and momentum, circular motion, uh, we do uh, electrical circuits and fields, we do gravitational fields, we uh, study magnetic fields and how they interact with electric fields. We study uh, waves, uh, so we cover a very good uh, cross-section of classical physics. We don't have a textbook for uh, both classes. They're, they're supposed to have ordered a textbook. We don't have it yet. I don't know if they're going to order it for both the first year level and the second year level, but you know, hopefully sometime soon they might have access to that. I use a lot of online sources and I've created a lot of stuff that I give them uh, due to the fact that we haven't had a viable textbook for a few years. Uh, just for the HL specific, uh, the biggest thing is they have to do an internal assessment. This is why we prep them in the first year to do this internal assessment. Uh, it's basically a complete scientific investigation from start to finish which they have to do on their own. It's not meant to be group work. Um, <clears throat> and it requires a long time. So we've already started the process, and the process won't finish until the beginning of March when they turn in their final product. Uh, one thing to be aware of is that if they do not turn in that internal assessment by the due date, IB will not let them take the actual IB exam, which for us is at the end of April. Since they're not going to let them take the exam, they're Fairfax County, which paid $123 to make sure your student could take the exam, is going to want that money back. And since they're seniors and they want to graduate, you're going to have to pay that money. So make sure to keep up with them on the internal assessment and that they're meeting the deadlines and they get a finished product. Um, so you don't have to worry about that. Another option is if they didn't want to end up taking the actual IB exam, maybe it wasn't particularly important to them, they're not in the program, they're not going to get credit for it for the school they're going to, they do have an option to opt out before October. So if that is something they're interested in, not usual with HL, but it does happen, then they should take advantage of that. Then you don't have to worry about um, repaying $123. Uh, for both classes, there is no final exam. The final week is um, done with smaller bits, so we don't have to worry about some kind of major change to the grade at the end. Not that at the end it changes much because it is a rolling grade book, so it, it gets pretty um, settled by the time we get to late May, so it shouldn't be too much of a problem. But So for that reason, we haven't given um, comprehensive final exams since the, before the pandemic. Uh, for me, this is my 23rd year here at Robinson. It's my um, 
second year overall teaching physics. I've taught the active physics. I've taught IB physics. I've taught standard physics. I taught AP physics for a couple of years in Maryland. So I've done the gamut. Um, I know what I'm doing with the physics and with the IB physics. I am new to the variations on the HL, so there's going to be a bit of a learning curve to make sure I got everything lined up. Fortunately, I have lots of information left over from my good friend Jill Mahoney, who taught it last year, uh, so it should go reasonably smoothly. Uh, the IA is the same for both S SL and HL, so um, I am well versed in the internal assessment. Uh, that is not an issue. <clears throat> Uh, I guess I should have started with the reason I'm not here. My wife had cardiac surgery this morning. Uh, my daughter took her, stayed with her, picked her up, but now she's coming home, so I don't want to leave her home by herself because, you know, my daughter has a family and needs to get back to her family. So I'm going to go take care of her, make sure she's all right. So it just happened that she had to have the surgery. You know how getting in with the, the surgeon and the uh, Surgery is, you know, and you don't get to choose the dates, so it was this day. Um, if you have any need to contact me, my email, J.E. Nickel, that's N-I-C-K-L-E, uh, at fcps.edu, just send me an email. Um, or you can call the number at 6933 at the Robinson Extension, so 426-6933. Uh, we'll leave a message on the uh, phone, which actually gets transferred to the email anyway, so I can get it that way. Um, and I usually am available on the gold Wednesday or Thursday of the week after school for students who want to come in. And uh, also, of course, we have the raise periods that could, they can come in. Uh, and. Jill Mahoney did say she was interested in tutoring, so if you end up desiring a tutor, she's very, very good. I may be able to get a hold of her and get her to do it um, to help your students out. Sorry again, I couldn't make it. I uh, hope you understand, and I hope you're able to find the video and at least see who I am. Uh, for those of you who had your students in my first year last year, then you already know who I am, uh, and so hopefully you'll feel comfortable with that. Uh, thank you. Hopefully you found this. Hopefully you got to uh, have a good back-to-school night. And any concerns during the year, you know, just let me know. Have a good night. <laughs>